Can we just take a minute to appreciate this? Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. Damn, you did good. Hey guys, so today I wanted to bring you another healthy DIY uh, recipe video because I got a really great response in the comments under my satay sauce video and my healthy bro breakfast <laughs> my healthy breakfast muffins video and I'll link those both below if you haven't seen them. Today I want to share with you a dessert recipe video. It takes five minutes, five ingredients, and it's so good for you. It's really good for your hair and your skin. Sorry, it's so good. It's packed with healthy fats and antioxidants. It's vegan friendly, paleo friendly, raw friendly. Um, it's gluten free, dairy free, and it is so rich and chocolatey and delicious. Mm, gone. <laughs> it's my take on no bake chocolate fudge, just pure food gasm. If you want to see how I make this, then please keep watching. And if you do make it, please tweet me a pic at Melanie Tweets. I'd really like to see them. And let me know if you try it in the comment section below. And let me know what you think of the video. So I hope you enjoy this, guys. Okay, so the recipe for this couldn't be any easier. And you don't need organic versions of all these, but I like to buy organic. So you'll need some fresh dates, some cold pressed coconut oil, which comes white and solid just like this, some crunchy peanut butter, or smooth if you prefer that, but I really, really like the crunch. Just make sure that it's a sugar-free variety. Some cocoa powder, not hot chocolate, just pure cocoa powder. And for this fudge, you'll just need half a cup of each of these ingredients. So if you want to double up, you'll need a cup of each. Duh! And some sea salt. All of these ingredients are so clean and so healthy. And they combine into deliciousness. Okay, I'm sorry. You know me, that's probably gonna happen in any video, bursting into song. It's just typical. So guys, all we do from here, melt the coconut oil on a really, really low heat. This should literally take a couple of minutes because even if you rub coconut oil between your hands, it just melts. That's how I remove my makeup with coconut oil. And then you dump everything into a high speed blender, leaving the peanut butter to last. So what I typically do is chuck everything in and I'll de-seed or de-pick the dates so they have these kind of hard seedy things in the middle you just kind of split them open with your finger and pull them out and then I whiz that as long as I need to so I'll just keep turning it on until everything turns into this kind of compacted mulchy stuff and sometimes I'll need to add a little bit of water to loosen things up dumping in that salt <laughs> And don't forget to add your peanut butter after a little while because the peanut butter makes this so peanutty. Pretty much just keep hitting that blend button. Keep hitting the blend and it'll work. The magic will happen. It will all conjoin into a big pile of delicious fragile goodness. So I'll take everything out of the blender with a spatula onto a chopping board and I'll usually put something down so that it doesn't all like stick. And then I like to um, kind of make a shape and break it up into like little bar shapes. And whatever's left, I'll roll that into kind of little truffles. So it's like, it really tastes very, very truffly, the texture. It's absolutely gorgeous. Am I the only one dancing here? Do, 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 do. This is like an old retro computer game. I love this kind of music. It's like, it just reminds me of my childhood. I'm literally sitting here dancing like bopping. Bopping the head. Bopping the head. I don't know if I've told you guys, I don't think I've ever told you guys. My boyfriend has a channel all about like retro gaming and kind of modern games and stuff as well called YOLO Gaming Show. I'll leave a link down below. But if you like gaming or you know anyone who likes gaming, check him out. He's deadly. Once they're all done, place them onto some greaseproof paper on a plate and stick them in the fridge. Uh, usually they'll be okay to eat after about an hour or so, but I like to leave mine overnight so they're really cold and really hard. And then the next day I'll put them into these little baggies. So 
these are really nice to eat after a meal and even as a snack, they're very portable and they last a long time in the fridge. Well, <laughs> not at my house, they don't last a long time because everyone eats them. Okay, I tell a lie, I eat them, I eat them all. ALL OF THEM! I hope you liked this video and if you did, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe for more like this because I intend on making a kind of series out of this and, you know, sharing with you all the really healthy easy, simple recipes that I enjoy. I'll see you next time, lads and lassies. Bye! Day day.